Shalom, we're here visiting our guest, the guest of the State of Israel here at the shores of Haifa, the USS George Bush aircraft carrier, a humongous aircraft carrier. We're talking about 17 stories high with 75 airplanes on it. And we had the opportunity here to hear from the commanders of the aircraft about their operations in the area, of course, against ISIS, and also about their cooperation with the IDF. This, uh, this aircraft carrier and this air wing have been a large part of uh, the war against ISIS over the last uh, five months that we've been deployed. We've conducted uh, sustained operations as part of Operation Inherent Resolve, uh, countering ISIS in both Iraq and Syria. And we've done so from the Eastern Mediterranean as well as the uh, Arabian Gulf. There's a, uh, a multinational coalition uh, aligned uh, supporting uh, uh, designed to annihilate uh, ISIS and uh, and we've been a part of that with many many partner nations and uh, our air wing has uh, been supporting that since uh, February. We are collapsing in on ISIS in places like uh, Raqqa, Mosul. Uh, what I've seen over the, just the last five months uh, personally is that uh, those lines have moved as uh, coalition forces have made great gains to uh, push those uh, push those terrorist elements out of uh, land that they've held in some cases for uh, the last three years. Uh, we continue to look to do so as uh, no secret U.S. policy is to annihilate uh, ISIS and uh, really eradicate their, uh, their existence. Uh, we have a long history of cooperation, uh, not only with the Israeli Navy, uh, but with all Israeli armed forces. And uh, oftentimes when uh, ships or strike groups come to the area, uh, we're afforded the opportunity to participate in bilateral exercises and, uh, and those kinds of things. And so uh, there is a long history going back uh, that we are proud and, and equally committed to uh, due to our uh, tremendous amount of shared interests. My staff does work um, through uh, Israel in any conjunction where, um, where, where essentially we have mutual interests that align. Certainly our access from the Eastern Mediterranean into, into the, uh, the fight there is uh, something that we talk about routinely. Again, that happens uh, between the United States government and Israel. Uh, there's a tremendous network of shared, uh, of shared intelligence. Uh, as, uh, as we're aware, the airspace uh, in this region uh, is very, very busy with lots of different uh, actors, and so uh, the need to deconflict that and make sure that everyone understands their mission is very, very important. So, uh, so we are very tightly linked uh, with our uh, with our colleagues and partners uh, and allies from uh, the Israeli Defense Force, and uh, and have been for many, many years, and will continue to do so. We're we're totally committed to that uh, cooperation. Sir.